dihybrid cross in guinea pig. The offsprings produced in the F1 generation are 100 percent. That means all the offsprings are hybrid and they have black and rough hair. Now in the second case, these black hybrid rough hair guinea pig are allowed to fertilize with a similar variety, which means both the parents are having the same character. Hybrid black rough here. Another parent is also hybrid black and rough here. They are allowed to fertilize with each other. This type of cross is known as selfing or self-fertilization. The allele for the hybrid black and rough here will be capital B, small b, capital R, small r. And for the next parent also it is same. Out here we need to understand that capital B, okay. Capital B means black, small b means white, R capital R means rough and small r means smooth. Okay, so the, uh, the gamut, the next step is the gamut formation. In the gamut formation step, there will be four possibilities, okay, for the gamut formation. The first possibility is the gamut may carry capital B factor or genes Okay, factor or genes also we can say capital B factor may combine with capital R factor. So the first type of gamete may carry capital B and capital R factor or genes. So BR, BR means black and rough. The second type of gamete may carry capital B factor and small r which is Capital B and small r means black and smooth. The third type of gamete may carry small b and capital R. Small b means white and capital R means rough. So white and rough. And the third type of gamete may carry small b and small r factor. Okay, so it is small b means white and small r means smooth. So there will be four possibilities. From here we can understand that these characters or these factors that is black, white, rough, smooth, these factors actually they do not mix with each other. But at the time of gamete formation, these factors they segregate, segregate means to separate out independently. That means these factors they segregate independently, which means this black Factor or character can combine with capital R that is with rough also with small r that is with smooth also. Similarly, the small b factor that is the white character or factor can combine with capital R that is rough and with small r that is smooth. So, any possibility is there. Understood? So, from here we can deduce the second law of Mendel that is known as law of segregation which has been deduced from the dihybrid cross. Now moving further, now these gametes, whatever gametes is produced by the, this parent will be similar gametes will be produced by the another parent also. So now the offsprings in the F2 generation will be produced okay, by crossing these gametes and that will be done through the checkerboard method. So, over here I have drawn a checkerboard. So, in this checkerboard some columns are drawn. You have already understood this in the Mendel's dihybrid cross in pea plant. So, now out here this direction we are going to write horizontally we are going to write male gametes and vertically we are going to write female gametes. This is the symbol for male gamete and this is for female gametes. As I already said male gametes and female gametes are same. So in which column we will fill the gametes the four types of gametes okay. Now the male and the female gametes will unite as a result of which we will get all these possible offsprings in the F2 generation. So the union will take place like this. I'll just show you one. So this is the female gamete carrying, female gamete carrying capital B and capital R factor or genes. So this female gamete will unite with this male gamete carrying capital B and capital R factor or genes. So this will be the offspring combination we'll write out here. Similarly now this female gamete will combine with the male gamete having this factor. So, we will write the result here. This female gamete carrying capital B and capital R genes may will unite with the male gamete carrying small b and capital R genes. So, we will write the result here. This female gamete carrying capital B and capital R 
genes will unite with the male gamete carrying small b and small r genes so we'll write the result here likewise we'll do it with the other gametes also and we got we get the offspring so all together how many offsprings we'll get let's have a look one two three four six seven eight and double of eight is 16 so 16 offsprings we will get and some of these offsprings are similar that we need to find out now the result is black and rough we will get four different types out of the 16 offsprings we will get four types of offsprings and these four types of offsprings are some of the offsprings are black and rough here guinea pig some are black and smooth here guinea pig some are white and rough here guinea pig and some are white and smooth here guinea pig that we are going to find out from this checkerboard now whenever we see black black means always it is represented by the genotype capital b and for rough it is represented as capital r okay so whenever you see capital b and capital r we need to understand it is black and rough okay so let's find out first of all we'll find out about black and rough so see this is capital b and this is capital r okay so it is black and rough out here capital b so it is black and capital R is there also there, so it is rough. But small r is also there. But out here, what has happened? The small r is a recessive factor, so it cannot express itself. So capital R is more dominating. So this will also be black and rough. So this is black rough. This is also black rough. Let's find out about this. This is capital B, so it is black. And small b is also there, but small b cannot express itself. It is recessive. So this type of guinea pig will also have black here and capital R means rough okay so it is also black and rough out here capital B small b capital R small r everything is there but out here what has happened capital B is dominating so it will be back capital R is dominating so it will be rough so black rough so all these one two three four all these are black rough out here also some more is there this is also black rough okay then next is your this is also black rough c capital b small b capital b is dominating capital r is also dominating so black and rough this out here same this already we have come across this out here okay so this is also black rough this we have already come across out here okay so this is also black rough okay this is also black rough and this capital B small b capital R small r already we have done this out here so this also black rough okay so all together now we will count how many black rough are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so how many black rough all together there are black 9 black rough here guinea pig having genotype these are the genotype and this we will find out from here that is capital B capital B capital R capital R this is the genotype so this particular genotype having guinea pigs having this particular genotype is only one we can that we can find out from the box so only one guinea pig having this type of genotype is only two that we will find out from the box okay and gen guinea pig having this type of genotype is also two only okay guinea pig having this type of genotype capital B small b capital R small r that is altogether four. Let's find out this in the from the cross, okay, from the box. So capital B, small b, capital R, small r. Need this one. No, no, not this one. This one. Okay. One. This is one. And this is two. Capital B, small b, capital R, small r. Two. And this is three. Capital B, small b, capital R, small r. This is four. Capital B. So altogether one, two, three, four. So this is altogether four. So this is your genotype and overall all these whether it is their genotype is like this but all are black rough. So altogether nine offsprings are black rough. Okay now next is your black smooth we'll find out. So black smooth will be capital B will be for black it was always capital B. So it is black smooth. Now smooth means we already know smooth is small r means smooth. Okay. So to express the smooth character, the rough character should not be there. The capital R character should not be there. So smooth means it is small r. Okay. So we have to look in the box. We have to look for capital B and small r. Black and smooth. So already these are counted. So see out here. This is black capital B capital B. So it is black. See small r small r. 
So small r means smooth and capital R is missing. That means only recessive characters are there. So when both the genes are recessive, that means it can express itself. So this will be smooth. So this is black smooth. So similar to it, we will look for some more black and smooth. So out here, this is already counted. This is black and capital B, small b is there, but black capital B is dominating. So it is black and over here also smaller, smaller. So it is smooth. So this is two. We'll count some more out here. We will get it. So this is capital B, small, capital small b. So it is black and small r, small r is there. Capital R is missing. So it is smooth. So altogether in this checkerboard, we'll find three black smooth. This is also black smooth. This is also black smooth. This is also black smooth. So black smooth altogether, it is three. So three offsprings will be black smooth. But these offsprings will have different genotype. Okay. The genotypes the genotype of one of the offsprings will be capital B, capital B, small r, small r. See, capital B, capital B, small r, small r. This is black smooth. Whereas this is also black smooth. But what is the difference between these two? Out here, both the genes are capital B. Out here, one is capital B and one other is small b. So they have different, although they are black smooth, but they are different. Their genotype is different. And this and this is, sorry, this and this is similar okay so this is also black smooth this is also black smooth their genotype is also similar so altogether two and two plus one is three so three offsprings will have black smooth here next is your white and rough so white and rough means for white it will be see out here for white it will be small b so capital b should be missing so for white it will be small b and for rough, it will be capital R. Okay, small b and capital R. We have to look for it. So already some are counted. So it is gone out here. Everything is counted. Everything is counted. Okay, we are looking for white and rough. So this is white and rough. See, small b, small b, capital B is missing. So it will be white. When capital B is missing, that means it can, the small b factor can express itself. So this type of guinea pig will have white here. And capital R is there. That means white with rough here. Okay, white rough here. One. Okay, white and rough here. This is also white and rough here. See, small b, small b is there. So it is white and capital R is there. Small r is also there, but small r cannot express itself. So this is also white and rough. Next, white and rough we will count. Okay, out here. This is small b, small b. So it is white, capital B, R and small r. This, these two are same, isn't it? So this is also white and rough. White and rough one, white and rough two, white and rough three. So altogether, how many white and rough? Three. But their genotype will be different. The white and rough guinea pig having this type of genotype, small b, small b, capital R, capital R will be one. See, small b, small b, capital R, capital will be one. Whereas white and rough guinea pig having these two types of genotype will be two. Okay, so it is two. So altogether it is three. And the last type of guinea pig is having white and smooth here. Okay, so white and smooth means white means small b, white. And smooth means small r. So we have to look for guinea pigs having this type of genotype, small b, small r, where capital B is missing and capital R is also missing. So in this box, we will get all, everything is counted, only one is there. So small b, small b, capital B is missing. So small b can express itself. Over here, small r, small r, capital R is missing. And so the smooth character can express itself. It is only one. See, having this type of genotype is only one. So it is one. So if we count the number of the offsprings altogether, it will be nine plus three plus three plus one will be altogether 16 offsprings are there. And out of the 16 offsprings, 9 are black rough, 3 are black smooth, the other 3 are white rough and last one is your white smooth. So if we look from outside, that is their phenotype, the phenotype will be 9 is to or ratio, the phenotypic ratio will be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, that is the phenotypic ratio, which means 9 black rough, 3 black smooth, 3 white rough and 1 white smooth. But if we look at their genotype, that means the inner genetic character, the genotype of among the 9 is just now I told you that 9 are 
black rough among the nine black rough also they genetically they are different from each other see their genetic combination is different although all are black rough but their genetic combination is different so if you take the genotype the genotypic ratio will be different so how many offsprings will have this type of genetic combination there is only one and another offspring having this type of genetic combination will be two although all are black rough okay all are black rough but then genetically they are different from each other so if we want to check out their genotypic ratio the genotypic ratio will be 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 that is their genotypic ratio so in mendel's dihybrid cross which is inherited in case of guinea pig we have learned the phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and the genotypic ratio when we check the genotype it will be 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 Okay.